my channel today I'm going to be doing my April favourites and I'm so excited to do this one because this month I have some amazing amazing products to share with you guys and I was actually waiting and counting down the days until I could film this video so like always I'm just going to get straight into the video and all my products are here just in case you're wondering why I'm like this <laughs> but the first product is this KMS California Moist Repair um, Leave-In Conditioner which I used to use when I was in university and I'm not sure why I didn't repurchase it but um, you guys know that for the past two months my hair has been going through a lot of colouring and it's gotten quite, I wouldn't say damaged but it's quite dry so I when I bought this leave-in conditioner I still use my conditioner in the shower as normal but this is just like an extra oomph of um, conditioner to help hydrate my hair £12 which I think is quite decent really especially for a brand like KMS which I absolutely love because they have some really unique and different products but I like to apply this in my wet damp hair and then I like to comb it through and you'll notice that it helps detangle your hair really really well so my second item is probably one of my most favourites out of the whole bunch of this month's favourites and it's the NARS um, Matte Multiple in Capados. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but um, it's called Capados and it's one of the contour colours and it looks like this. Um, when you first put it onto your hand it looks quite scary and quite dark but these are so easy to blend and you only need the tiniest tiniest amount the first time i ever used this i actually looked like um i had a muddy face because i used too much and then i realized that a little bit goes a long long way and i like to use this to contour straight after my foundation because it's kind of like a cream formula it blends really nicely with the foundation and it looks really natural a lot more natural than applying bronzer on top of powder which sometimes I find that you can see the bronzer because it just sits on top of the um, powder but this one um, blends really nicely into the foundation and it looks so much more natural in real life I think that the NARS Matte Multiple has three contour shades and I think this one is the medium one they have a lighter one than this and um, this one and then have an even darker one which is obviously for people with darker skin tone on the pricey side it was £30 but I believe that this is going to last me for a long long time I've had it for the whole entire April and I've been using it every time I do my makeup to contour and it's like made the slightest bent and as you can see the stick is pretty long so you do get quite a lot and I'm pretty sure this is going to last me I reckon maybe a year or more because I only use the tiniest amount um, every time that I use it. So my third item is this Soap and Glory one heck of a blot and can we just mention how pretty and cute the Soap and Glory packaging is. I really like the packaging, it really reminds me of like the Japanese brands when they put a lot of effort into making the packaging look cute and really um, just really approachable if that sounds right it makes you want to go and look what the product is because the packaging is so cute on the outside that's what I'm trying to say um, but yeah this is basically a blotting powder and I have it in this universal color which is translucent really like this and it, you get a mirror and it has the powder and you get a little powder puff but I don't really use powder puffs I prefer to use like a large powder brush because um, I'm not sure, I think that powder puffs are a bit unhygienic because you always use it and then you just put it back on top of the product and it just sits there and I prefer to use a powder brush because obviously a powder brush you can wash it and it's more hygienic that way um, but yeah, um, one heck of a blot, it does an amazing job at blotting and it's actually very finely milled normally pressed powders I find can look a bit cakey but this one doesn't give that effect at all and it's really good at controlling my oil and um, especially in my teaser area I believe it's about £12 but Boots always do offers which are like 3 for 2 and that's when I got mine so it's definitely a bargain and it's definitely a product that you should try um, I love it and I think I'm going to be using this until it hits pan or is completely finished so another makeup product and this is the lipstick that I have on my lips right now and it's the Sleek matte me lip creams it's basically like a liquid lipstick and it dries into a matte formula i know that these type of 
liquid lipsticks and really popular now. I know that Bourjois does one, um, Hourglass, uh, Hourglass does one, Mimel do one, Maybelline do one, and um, this is a Sleek's version, which I think is probably one of the best out of the whole entire drugstore, um, because it's super super pigmented as you can see I do have it on my lips right now and this was just one coat it's really easy to apply and it dries really quick so if you're not really good at applying these type of liquid lipsticks then you might have to practice a little bit because it dry, does dry really quick and it sets um, into kind of like I wouldn't say powdery but it's really like a matte I don't know I don't know how to describe it it's kind of like um, it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel it feels like your own lips but obviously you know that you've got lipstick on but it does feel like your own lips so the colour I have is Brink Pink and actually I have another colour um, which is the bright red one and I like to wear that as well but I thought I'd just show you this one today because this month I've been loving this one as you can see it's kind of like a neon neon pink but because it's matte it's, it's really wearable. I would definitely recommend these to anyone who's looking for a matte um, liquid lipstick and I do believe that these are very affordable and I'm definitely going back to pick up more colours because I know that they have some other fantastic colours um, which is like a nude and one that's like a peachy colour and I definitely need those in my life. Um, so yeah, Matte Me by Sleek. Um, it's the La Roche Percy um, Epiclar Duo and this is the Duo Plus one which I believe they have a normal Duo and then have a Duo Plus which is the newer edition. I'm not sure what the difference is but this is the first one that I tried anyways and it's the Duo Plus one. And I really like this because it helps my breakouts immensely. Like if I'm having a breakout, um, I always apply this at night time. Um, apply a generous amount all over my face then by the morning all my spots and all my blemishes are kind of dried up and I think that's really magnificent like I'm not sure how to describe it it's like one of those things where it's not quite believable like mm, actually I would say it's kind of like a miracle um, I've never had anything like that before. I've had a lot of spot creams where you just apply it onto the spot and it dries up the spot overnight but I haven't had like a face cream that does this kind of thing and it doesn't dry out my um, normal skin either, it just dries out the spots and helps get rid of the blemish. I'm not even sure how that works but there is a downside to this and it does smell. It smells really badly. So the smell is bearable and I don't mind it. Well, I do mind it, but there's nothing that I can do, so I just have to put up with it. But uh, the smell smells like cheap washing up liquid. Um, it's really off-putting. I just wish that it didn't smell like that, because it would make the product so much more better. But then maybe it smells like that for a reason, because of the ingredients. Um, but yeah, just something to be wary of. So last but not least is the Holy Mother of Cleansers. Um, it's been doing its rounds lately on YouTube and blogging and it's the Emma Hardy Amazing Face um, Cleansing Balm and I know that this has been so popular for a long time but I do try not to jump on bandwagons as much as possible just because there are always products that are hyped up and if I buy into those products all the time then I would be pretty broke and that's not good but my friend Bethany, um, hi Bethany if you're watching, um, she said that she uses this and she said it's amazing and if she says it's amazing then I have to try it. So I ordered it on Space NK, they were actually doing uh, a £10 off voucher if you spend over £40 so I got this and a few extra cleansing cloths um, to go with it and as you can see I'm not quite near um, halfway or anything like that. I've used it for um, about three, three weeks now and it's just slightly made a dent in there and I, I, I'm not sure what took me so long to jump on this bandwagon but I am glad I did because it is amazing. I always remove my eye makeup first so I'm not sure how what it does at removing eye makeup, that's just one of my pet peeves. I don't like using cleansing oils or cleansing balms to remove my eye makeup because I don't like the feeling of my black eye makeup 
rubbing all over my face. So I always um, remove my eye makeup first, but for removing face makeup, this does an absolutely amazing job. It smells fantastic. The cloth that it comes with is amazing as well. I do use it the original way, which is um, wiping it off with a warm hot cloth. And yeah, I I just love this, and I think that. I'm going to be using this for a long, long time. I am always scared to try new skincare because I have sensitive skin and I break up really easily. But I've not had any, any reactions. Why did I say any twice? But anyways, I didn't have any reactions or any breakouts with this cleansing bar. And I, I just love it. Hmm. After every time I use this, I just feel really relaxed, really clean, really cleansed and really kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like I've just had a little mini facial. You can actually see the difference after you wipe it off with the cloth because your face and your pores are so clean. Thanks for watching my video guys, I hope you enjoyed my April favourites. Definitely some good ones this month. Um, I'm not sure if I should be buying any more makeup or skincare for the next month but yeah we shall see so if you want to just leave me a comment down below and let me know what your april favorite was and um, because i always like to see what other people like and whether it's the same as me or whether it's something that i should try um, but yeah thanks for watching and i shall see you in my next video